Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's really loud so before all of you go and say oh my god it's too much noise. I know that. They're watching TV upstairs which is vibrating down here and my humidifier is on which is making a lot of noise. I'm gonna try to turn this off once I start explaining everything but for right now I just want to tell you what we're doing today. So I decided to make a new advent calendar because the one I made previously and you can check that video out here um but i made one previously and it was made out of like a harder um felt board with some little um squares i made and numbers and everything and i just kind of put it together on like a wooden dowel and just kind of hung it up well i'm getting tired of looking at that one so i decided to go ahead and make a new one so how i'm going to do that today is with this whiteboard i have some squares here that are these are I think these are like three and a half or four by four squares I can't remember but I made these little pocket squares basically what I did is I found some scrap fabric um, last night and I just kind of folded the fabric over so that it's already folded when I cut and so all I had to do was just sew around the edges here and I left an opening so what I'm gonna do is turn these right side out like so and then you have the little pocket now if you are obsessive compulsive like me you will probably turn these in and iron that down or probably sew that down so it doesn't show the frayed edges but this is what I'm going to use and where the whiteboard comes in is I am going to place these on this whiteboard in the shape of a tree and I am going to use my silhouette to make little circle numbers for the 24 days until Christmas so today is December 1st and I'm going to get this video up today of course it's gonna be late guys um but yeah this will be the first of many tutorials that we do for Christmas holiday or Hanukkah whatever it is that you celebrate I will be doing tutorials all this month and I'm so excited about because even though they're simple and easy tutorials to do they're fun you could do them with kids you could do them by yourself but I'm really excited about this advent calendar and I want to get it done before Kim and I get home so they can see it so again we're going to use this whiteboard we're going to use these scrap fat pieces of fabric and we're about to head over to my silhouette so I can show you how to make the circles with the little numbers inside of them so let's go okay everybody so I'm going to show you how I made these little numbers it won't focus but I'm going to show you how I made these so here I have these little designs that I got um from silhouette they were free because I pay monthly for the little thing or whatever so um, I'm not grouping anything together because I'll show you why. So when you're using the sketch pins, there are several ways you can go about this. So what I'm going to do here is go to sand, which is normally where you go to cut. Um, I don't want this sketched. So what I'm going to do is click on just the ornament and no cut and see how it shades it out so when I go to sketch it's only going to sketch what's in red so I'm going to do that for all of these no cut no cut no cut and sorry for the noise in the background guys kids are home they're making a lot of noise so let's go over to the silhouette so now what's about to happen is it's about to print here on this yellow paper. I'm using a green uh, pen. So now that I have that set, I'm going to go ahead and send it. And now it's going to sketch it. And sorry about the lighting. Okay, now as you can see, it sketched out the numbers. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to the computer screen 
and do the same thing but just now I'm going to do no cut on the numbers and do cut on the bulb so now you see the bulb is in red so what I'm going to do is switch out the sketch pen for the blade and cut as normal so for those of you who don't know how to do this I will show you and again sorry about all the noise Now that all of that is set, we're just going to go right back over. And like I said, we're going to switch the sketch pen. We're not going to unload this. So even though your screen may say unload, don't. So we're going to go ahead and take the sketch pen out and put the blade back in. My uh, silhouette told me to cut at a four. I'm actually going to change that down to a three because it actually cut through my mat a little bit so I'm going to try it at a three because this is a thinner cardstock so now that I have that done we are going to thin and now it's going to cut out those little designs Okay, at this point, now you can go ahead and unload because it's done its job. And this is what it looks like. So then you just go ahead and do as normally and pull back the part that you don't need. Set that aside for now. And there we have our design. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the numbers. And then we'll go ahead and assemble our advent calendar. So as you can see, I kind of got this laid out. Um, I glued just the first three numbers, but I'm playing around with it because some of these, unfortunately, are longer and bigger than the other ones, but I just went ahead and hot glued the numbers on here. And so this is kind of what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do once I have all this glued and I kind of hot glued these down, but you can still get inside here and put whatever you need to put in here. These ones are not. These are just laid here. I'm just kind of playing around with it, seeing how I want the placement to go. But there is enough room in here for you to place your candies or whatever it is that you're going to put in here. So once I have all of this laid out the way I like it, I am then going to cut around it with my X-Acto knife and then hang this on the wall for the kids. And then they will have their advent calendar so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and once I have it done then I'll show you the completed project